good morning from Istanbul Airport for the last time on this trip because it's time to go home. Let's go. Of course, being the home of Turkish Airlines, we are flying on Turkish Airlines today and um, in their business class. Would you just look at this, the dedicated business class area for Turkish Airlines here at Istanbul Airport for check-in. Very cool, isn't it? Very swish. Let's head inside and see if we can check in. Hello, checking in for Birmingham, please, business class. Business class? Yes. Yeah. Yes, this way. All right, thank you. Check in for Birmingham, please. I don't. Do I have to go to that place first, or to the security point? Where is or? your destination? Uh, Birmingham. Did you pass from the commit check? Uh, no, not yet. Firstly, yeah. for the United Kingdom and for yes, United okay. States, first you that one. Pay, check the document check. Yeah. Okay. And, and then come back entrance, here. Entrance is the document check is yeah. security checkpoint. I can see. Yeah. All okay. right. Thank you very much. I'll go and uh, go back around that way. <laughs> Thank you. Good morning. Um, I need to come here. I'm, I'm going to the UK. Okay. Which city? To Birmingham. It is, yes. Yeah. Going home. Yes. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's been a long trip. Oh no. Where, where's home for you? Sorry? Uh, you mean home in home here in Turkey? Yeah. Yeah, in Turkey. Ah, uh, yeah. It's a bit an, an early morning for you, yeah. <laughs> what time did you start? <laughs> Uh, just an hour ago, and I will exit at 7 p.m. Ooh, long day. <laughs> long day. Rather you than me. <laughs> Hope you get lots of breaks. <laughs> oh, just two or something. <laughs> Not much. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Hope you have an easy day. <laughs> Thank you. Bye bye. Hello. Hello. Oh, I get I get to choose. Yeah. 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 <laughs> uh, uh -huh. I, I pick you. Thank you. Uh, Birmingham, please. Okay. Yeah. Thank you. Uh, sir, you have seat reservation uh, for F window seat. Yes. Uh, is that okay? Mileage card is registered. Perfect. Thank uh, check you. Check in luggage. Uh, yeah. Okay. I need to take this off. Sorry. Thank you. Thank you. Do you know a business lunch? Uh, yes, I've not been to this. I've been to the IGA, is it next to yes, that, isn't it? After passport yeah. control, yeah. Uh, on date, the left. Uh, yeah. Eve number one. Lovely, thank you very much. Mm -hmm. Let me just set up this. Thank you. Do you have a Uh Yeah, just this one. Thank you. I'm collecting these now. Nice. <laughs> thank bye you, bye have bye. a great day. Bye thank bye. you very much, yeah. bye bye. All right, all relatively straightforward there, all checked in, ready to go. Back home, let's go. Turkish lounge here at Istanbul Airport. It's the strangest lounge I've ever been to. What happened to the one at Ataturk? That was amazing. This one's not great. Um, there's all these little areas. It's like a little shopping mall with little cafes and things and you can sort of go around and get, choose your food, but like, there's no indication of what is where. And everyone's just sort of standing around and there's people just cooking food and like, not serving it or anything. It's, just, it's all a bit weird and all a bit strange. It's just taken me like 20 minutes to go and get some um, bits of meat and some rice but never mind I'll be cooking nicking next door to um, Carl Juniors or something so but never mind lesson learned for next time but so um, yeah it's an interesting lounge they've got so many little areas and they've tried to make it look like it's a fancy but then equally there's like nowhere to sit 
and no idea where you go for your food, so it's just a bit confusing, really. Um, I don't know what was wrong with the old layout of the lounge they had over at um, Ataturk before they moved it over. It was all sort of very easy to sort of work your way around. This one's just just crazy by comparison. But never mind, let's stop moaning. So I'm going to have some food. Nice um, bit of meat and veg and um, rice for me breakfast. finally found somewhere to sit that's not actually in the little canteen area down there. Um, yeah, it, it, it's not the greatest lounge I have to say. Um, it's taken me ages to find somewhere and even then I've had to clear all my pots up before I come and sat down. So um, not brilliant, um, not brilliant Turkish. I'm actually, if it wasn't for the fact that it wasn't halfway down the terminal, I'd actually be tempted to go and sit in the IGA lounge because it's a lovely lounge that is um, and just get them in the priority pass. Um, if it weren't for the fact that that's like the other end of the terminal and my gate's just here in a bit, then um, I might actually be tempted to head over there because it, it, it's definitely the better of the two lounges here at um, Istanbul, I have to say. So sorry, Turkish. You're supposed to have your flagship lounge here and it's a bit crap, really. Um, but never mind. Um, yeah, I've got a couple of hours to me fly anyway, so I'm just trying to sit and chill, get stuff charged up a little bit with my batteries and stuff before we get on the plane and head over to Birmingham. So I finally managed to find myself a little comfy chair, albeit tucked away right round the back. That was a sold chair going. But look at the view. Literally a great view out over the um, airport here at Istanbul. It's just shocking really. They've spent obviously spent a lot of money on this lounge on getting it to look fancy and it's just totally impractical. And you can see how cramped it is down here. Just shoved away in a corridor at the back of the lounge, but hey. Uh, one thing I do really love about Istanbul Airport is the variety of airlines that you get here. For the Aviation Geek, it's an amazing place, only matched, I think, by Dubai Terminal 1, perhaps. Um, so many exotic airlines. I mean, we've got Mirage Airlines just pulled up out there. Airbus A310 from Iran, very cool. Um, Badr Airlines from um, Sudan, they come in here as well. I saw them last time I was here. Just like so many random rare airlines that you wouldn't see anywhere else in the world here at Istanbul, all together in one place. It's really cool. Um, and if you get a nice view like this, it's um, not too shabby, really. All right, then, time to head to the gate. Whew. Let's get out of here. Let's go home. You certainly get a good workout walking to the gate here. I just did my daily step count as well walking down here. We're literally right at the end of one of the piers. But that there is the Turkish Airlines plane. A321 in the air is going to take me back home. Back to West Birmingham at least and then like a bit of a ride home from there. But um, yeah, nearly there now. Last plane of the trip. Nice flight, sir. You can pass. Welcome. Nice flight. Welcome. Nice flight, lady. Welcome, sir. Nice flight, sir. Thank you. After a couple of weeks travelling around Africa and the CIS, it was now time to get on board the Turkish Airlines Airbus A321neo that would take me home to Birmingham. Alright then, welcome on board the Turkish Airlines A321neo in business class, look at this. Isn't this cool? So much space, massive TV and everything, can't wait to go through this seat later. Very modern, very swish. Um, first time on a Neo with Turkish actually, so this is going to be fun. Um, looking forward to it a lot. Next stop, Ho. After a short ground delay due to airspace congestion, it was time to push back and get on our way.
Our route today then took us west out of Istanbul to cross Europe, flying over Bulgaria, Serbia, Croatia, Slovenia, Switzerland and France before making our approach into Birmingham in the UK. Flight time today 3 hours and 49 minutes, cruising at 34 and 36,000 feet. Alright then, so airborne from Istanbul, finally after about a 25 minute hold on the ground there because there's too many aeroplanes over Europe at the moment, so obviously some sort of spot restrictions there going on, but we're airborne now and um, hopefully we'll be on time still. They reckon it's only going to be about a 3 hour, 10 minute flight over to Brum, so not too bad at all. Climbing out over the Black Sea at the moment, chilling out in my nice comfy seat on the Turkish A321 Neo. Alright then, it's time to have a look around the in-flight entertainment system in the segment that I like to call What's on TV. Let's have a look. Alright, so straight away here, there's loads of um, stuff here. Let's just set the brightness up a bit so we can see that. There we go. Alright, so we've got movies, a good selection of movies. Let's take a look. 568 movies, good lord. Quite a few modern ones there as well, what have we got? Encanto, The King's Man, oh I wanted to watch that. I want to watch that, it's a new King's Man movie isn't it? Um, yeah, loads. 568 movies, you're not going to run out of there are you, blimey. TV programmes, what have we got on here? 1297. And of course we've got Big Bang Theory and Young Sheldon. So brilliant, we've got two for there. Both of the usual in flight entertainment. That's Simon Wilson. No, it's not. Looks a bit like him though, don't it? Anyway, um, what else have we got? I see music, kids, audio books, games, more. What's on more? Fly good, feel good. Podcast. We can listen to the Quran. We can do a survey and some feedback. Oh, I can tell them how crap their lounge is. Um, <laughs> and what else have we got here? My flight. Let's have a look at the flight map. There we go. We're not on a Neo, apparently. We're on an A321-200, but never mind. Um, view the map. Wait, is it? it is a 200, isn't it? Just a 200N, I think. But anyway. Oh, wow, look. Oh, it's this view. I like this view. Let's have a look. Wow. All sorts of different angles here that we can look through. And there's us. Scooting across Europe. Very, very impressed, actually. Very nice in-flight entertainment system on um, Turkish Airlines. I have to say, this is an A321neo. And there's like nearly 2,000 things to watch on there. That's fantastic. We're not going to run out of stuff to watch on this flight, are we? Very good, Turkish. Very impressed. Alright then, time to start on mid dinner and um, the start has turned up. We've got like fishy stuff. Mm, let's give it a go. I mean, this prawns go, it's alright. It's quite nice actually. I wonder how fresh it is. Just imagine I'm out on a boat this morning catching it bringing it straight to the airport to get on a plane. Most well-travelled fish in the history of that. Alright, main course is here and I've gone for the chicken satay with rice. The other options were lamb and ravioli, so I've gone for the chicken. Let's have a go. That's quite nice and juicy, actually. Very good. So you know what, they're doing all right on the old food side, Turkish are, very good. Charles, to another trip completed. I'm safely finished.
So I do have to say, as much as the A321 Neo is an absolutely wonderful plane to fly on in business class, I did kind of pay well over the odds, I think, for this flight. Um, the fact is, I had to book it like two, three days out because Air Albania was my original airline and they cancelled my flight with just a few days remaining. So I was left with no choice but to find a direct flight home from Istanbul. And um, yeah, three days out... 900 and something quid it cost me for this flight in business class so um, yeah it was a lot of money and I know I could have phoned economy but that even economy was like 800 so for an extra 100 quid I actually get to sit up here in a really nice spacious seat so um, yeah it's um, quite pricey for the flight it is for a three and a half hour flight 900 and something quid I, I kind of resented paying that much I hate paying that much money for flight knowing I'm getting ripped off but um it was the only option I had, really. Um, even waiting a few days, the price is all the same at the minute. We're in that peak of summer here in Europe, so prices on these flights are just absolutely insane. But that said, yeah, the A321neo is not a bad aircraft to ride on. Um, I maybe would have preferred it if I could have got a ride on like the A350 or something, which is operating the Heathrow route at the minute. Um, or even an A330 might have been quite nice that does those routes as well. But... Um, those flights are all really full as well so I really struggle to get a seat on any of them and this flight gets me into Birmingham which is like an hour from home so um, here we are on the A321 Neo and I'll be honest not a bad ride for a three hour flight pretty decent indeed I'm not sure if I'd want to do like an overnight stretch on it or anything like that um, with just a reclining seat but uh, if, if I was paying for business class I'd probably want to pay for a business class that had like a flatbed or something instead but for a few hours flight like this perfectly acceptable for me and certainly beats the euro business that you get on airlines like BA as well anyway we're over France now about to cross the English Channel and almost back in England thank you to this week's video sponsor Surfshark who always come to the rescue whenever I want to watch some British TV when I'm traveling Surfshark is a VPN provider and what that means quite simply is that you can use their software to connect to the internet from anywhere in the world and make it look like you're just at home, which has some really good benefits. For instance, I could be sitting here by a sunny pool in Vietnam and um, watching some Top Gear on my phone. It lets me watch EastEnders here in the middle of the Australian outback. Oh yeah, I'll have a Castle Main 4X please mate. Cheers. Surfshark even lets me catch up with only fools and horses. Well, I'm here in New York. Now, Surfshark are offering you a massive 83% discount plus three months free when you use my promo code Noel Phillips at the link on the screen now. What are you waiting for? Even Baby Shark approves. back in Blighty, just over Kent at the minute. A great view of the Thames estuary down there, that's pretty cool isn't it? And then like the um, dockyards and everything there running up the Thames up towards London. Kent on the right, Suffolk on the left and Essex. Beautiful. We're nearly home. Soon after that, it was time to start our descent across the Midlands into Birmingham. We got some stunning views across the Midlands as we made our approach, before a landing into Birmingham that was anything but a smooth end to the trip. today cost me a whopping £903, working out at a crazy 56 pence per mile. The usual rate on a quiet day to fly from Istanbul to the UK in business class is around 400 quid, so this really shows how expensive flights can be last minute. And that's before you include the cost of a chiropractor after you've landed. I'm not going to lie, in over 800 flights, that is probably one of the hairiest landings I've ever had. And um, we were coming in incredibly fast and we, then we bounced really high. Um, not surprising if you look at the fact that we had a massive tailwind on the final approach. I'm not quite sure why we're coming on runway um, 15. 
very interesting tailwind all the way down and the obvious effects of that meaning that we got two landings for the price of one but hey breathe breathe and only breathe we're home bar almost Birmingham not long now as always a massive thank you to my patrons for helping to make these videos possible you can join them at the link on the screen now for access to my whatsapp group and much much more all right and welcome back to birmingham home at last yay um, after a really cool flight with Turkish on the A321neo, really nice little plane, I enjoyed that ride a lot, very nice indeed, the landing was a bit hairy, don't hope to do that again anytime soon but never mind, um, I hope you've enjoyed this video, let me know what um, you thought of Turkish down in the comments below, but in the meantime as always, thanks so much for watching, take care, and I'm off for me chippy tea, see you on the next one, bye for now.